In this shoemaking tutorial, I will show you a simple way how to measure your feet correctly to know what is the right shoe last size you need to work with to make bespoke shoes that will fit your feet perfectly. Now, usually in bespoke shoemaking, to measure your feet, we need to take different measurements. But for you as a beginners in shoemaking, you need to know only two parameters. These two main parameters that will define the correct shoe last size you need to work with. If you will want to move on to make bespoke shoes, like I explained in my bespoke Apanka Derby shoe course and bespoke welted shoe course, there you can learn all other parameters needed to customize your shoe last according parameters of your feet. But right now, let's learn what these two main parameters you need to know to get the right shoe last size. Before we will move on, if you are interested in shoemaking and want to know more about shoemaking tools, different pattern making techniques, how to work with certain tools, etc, 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 make sure to subscribe to my channel. It's not hard. Just click the subscribe button and of course click the bell button to know when my new video will come up. Okay? So, let's move with the explanation and let's measure the length of your feet. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. Now, to measure very easy the length of your foot, take simple paper A4 and place it to the wall. The edge of the paper must touch the wall. Now, you should stand on this paper. Now, you should Pay attention how you place your foot on the paper. You should place it in the way where the heel touches the wall. This is how you will measure the length of your foot correctly. Second important thing that you should measure the longest fit. Okay? After you will place your foot on the paper where the heel touches the wall, take simple pencil and place it to the longest toe. For example, in this feet, the longest toe is this one. If you have second toe, is if your second toe is the longest toe, you should measure the length of your foot according to this toe. So this toe is the longest. So I will place the pencil to this toe. Place the pencil in 90 degrees angle. If you have two white pencil, you can take ruler and place it also in the 90 degrees angle and make a mark where ruler touches the ground, okay? Make a mark. Now we will measure second parameter, the width of your feet. It is also a very important parameter to have comfortable shoes. Same shoe last size may have a different width. So you need to know what is the width of your feet to have correct shoe last size. Before you start to measure the width of your feet, you should find the widest place on your feet in the front area. So for example, on the outer side, find the center of this bone that extends and make a point. Then on the inner side, the widest place is this is pass, passes in this bone, in the center of this bone. So find the center of this bone and mark a point. Now take a measurement tape and place it in the way where this point lays on the center, passes in the, along the center of this measurement tape. Then overlap your feet. Don't stretch it too much like this. Just place it as it lays, it must place, it must overlap tightly, but not too much. For example, don't do it like this and don't place it when the tape is loose. Okay, so overlap it simply and measure the width. Write down here the width, it's 22 millimeter, uh, centimeters. Also, you can mark the edges of the measurement tape. 
to know where is the tape you placed during this measurement, okay? Now you have this point and this is our length of your feet that we need to measure from the edge of the paper. So take ruler and measure the distance from the edge of this paper until the mark that you marked on the paper. Okay, and the length of this feet is 21.5 centimeters. So the length of the of the foot is 21.5 centimeters, the width is 22 centimeters. Now you know your length and your width, and according to these parameters, you will know how much you need to add to the standard last or how much you need to reduce from the width of the standard last. Now, what you're gonna do with your measurements? Let me help you. Follow the guide and write down in the comments your measurements. I will let you know what it is the shoe last size you need and how much you need to reduce or enlarge from the standard shoe last. That's it. I am waiting for your comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to know when my new video will come out. See you in my next video. Bye.